always got to make sure that shit is... Because <laughs> what happens is now that I put that mic over there, it'll focus on the mic. Oh. So, like, that's all fucking bad. Oh, bad. Like, it's all bad. And you'd be like, oh, why is the mic... Because I probably have it out here. But it's better to have it, like, closer to me. And then yeah. it'll go zoom in and out. And I had this one podcast that was... Uh, there was four people in the room so like some people were close in and out so like during the podcast it was going in and out and then it just stayed blurry it just stayed on the mic and I was just like and we had to use the footage and it wasn't like terrible but it was just like annoying oh, as man well. and just as an editor you're just like, yeah you know what I mean on the phone you can't really tell but if someone like blasted it up on their TV yeah. which you would be surprised what people actually do you know what I'm saying so are you ready I'm ready alright Taliana <laughs> Uh, yeah. Taliana! <laughs> okay, here we go. Harmon Warhol bringing another episode of the Harmon Warhol Show, and I have a special guest, a very courteous guest, to drive all the way here from Sacramento. She is a singer-songwriter. Uh, she also does is we're getting into doing voiceover work. Uh, looking forward to see what that's all about. Yes. Uh, and her name is Taliana. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. What's up? How you doing today? I'm doing great. How that's about you? Up. I'm great. Yeah, I'm great. I'm doing cool. It's hot as fuck. It is hot as fuck. Oh yeah. my gosh. Ugh. It's like a hundred. Supposed to be in Sacramento, I think like 111. Damn. Yeah, it's about to be 108 here today. Oh, no. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, yes. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Usually I drink alcohol, but I was like, ah, oh, let's fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> mm. So, you actually uh, just released a song, just like what? J- July 2nd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, allergy meds? Allergy meds, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, do you have allergies? I do. You do? Oh my gosh. I think um, the first show I did this year, ever since like quarantine, I didn't take any allergy meds and it it messed me up, man. Yeah. I started like choking and I'm, by the end of it, I was like, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was not fun. <laughs> so it's like in a throat thing or whatever? Yeah, is it's it like, like uh, is it cats, dogs, or just like the atmosphere and shit? I, uh, yeah, it's like the atmosphere, yeah. like pollen and. That's me, yeah. I'm yeah. Th- every, it's always to uh, the winter to spring change is when all my shit gets fucked up. Yeah. yeah I'm fucked up for like two, three months and then. Yeah, so fuck the spring. Fuck the spring. <laughs> we love spring, but yeah, forget that. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh, so uh, you've been singing for quite a bit, right? Yeah. Like, for how long? Like since a kid? Yeah, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Um, I think it's like one of those things that i just always loved to do my entire life, even before I knew what it was. Oh, really? Yeah. You just That's what it is. That's just, just what it is. It touched you. It was like, oh. This is pre Is it pre, uh, what is it? Not predetermined. Predestined. Or like, what is it? <laughs> Inter, uh, 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 divent- div- divine intervention. Yeah, divine intervention. There we go. God damn, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? That took a minute. God, help me, Jesus. Today. <laughs> you said, help me, Lord, help today. Me Lord. Damn, fuck. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so you just started singing you singing like church or anything or plays? Yeah, I used to I was homeschooled for most of my childhood until like eighth grade. And yeah. so I did a like um it was like a church choir drama club. It was the Rainwater Music Company. And it was okay. basically like um they would take stories from the bible and like they would just like make it just reminds you of like veggie tales give okay. you like veggie tales vibes i know what that is but yeah. i don't know, <laughs> you know like, you don't know what i that know is. the show is i kind of see it <laughs> kind of see it yeah. it ca- it's it's kind of that vibe um but yeah like i 
I think my parents saw that I really liked music, so they would put me in stuff like that. That's like good. whether it was like um, not really like lessons yet, but just like choirs and stuff like that and dramas. Okay, what's your ethnicity? I am. Are you are you uh, racially fluid? <laughs> 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 I am very, I'm, I'm very mixed. Yeah. Um, my mom is black and white, okay. and she has like a little bit of Native American, and my dad is Filipino. So, okay. Yeah, I'm like all around the world. Damn, <laughs> father had to be playing, bro. He had, he had to be playing. Yeah, game, possible <laughs> yeah, game. <laughs> he came to America and said, "I ain't here to play." Yeah. I had to come take to come take part, but to take over. But to take over. <laughs> 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 That's what's up. That's what's up. So how is it being... So how many siblings do you have? I have... Mm, I guess like five in total, but two of them are like my full siblings and three of them are half siblings. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is funny because like literally my half siblings are like if you were to split like me in half because one of them's black and white and two of them are full P- Filipino. P- oh, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's what I would look like uh, if I just stayed chilling in one area. <laughs> damn, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I know I just got one sister, so it's Aww. just like I don't know about any of that, like, other siblings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even if I couldn't say I couldn't, like, at least maybe personality. Like we have like similarities, but like even our personality like different. I so I couldn't be like, oh, that's me as a girl. It's kind of like it's like mm, she kind of uh, acts like me, but not really. She got her own thing going on. Yeah. Um. So when did you start like putting out music and everything? Oh. It seems like you start. I mean, I don't know. Like just this year, like alone, you put you put out a lot of singles. I was gonna ask you about that too. No, e- it says EPs, but is it just singles? Because I was yeah. trying to go through it. It's just singles, right? It's just singles right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still am like trying to figure out like EP wise, like what I want to put out because definitely I'm a mixture of like R and B but pop as well. Yeah, so it's like, you have I a very cool mix. sound. I like that. Oh, I see. It seems like. You're staying in that vibe, but you're also branching out into different ways to get that vibe. It's not just the same instruments or the same, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. But I still, every time I hear the song, I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? I, still groove into yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to that same vibe that you have, like, created. Especially, like, the one, the, obviously, you heard me, uh, <laughs> The Room. The Room. That's actually what I heard you from, uh, uh. I think, uh, do you know Drea at all? Yeah, yeah okay, she yeah, was so. uh, my student. Oh, I was wow. Because I'm a, also a vocal coach, oh, and okay. that's how we met. Oh, uh, okay, cool, yeah, because then I had her on the show, and I don't even know if she showed me you or she just, like, shared one of your things, and I was just like, oh, this is cool. Like, I like the video, too, and everything. It was very clear, and uh, how was, like, making that? Like, Oh, my goodness. It was so fun. Um uh, the song was made by one of the producers I work with, um, AO Jazz, and we had an idea for the video to be like, have that nature vibe, but also a little bit like of an ethereal vibe. Mm-hmm. And so um, working with the videographer Zero, it was a lot of fun. It was very funny because half of the time we were filming, he's like, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. And I was like, it's going to work. Yeah, yeah, I swear. Yeah, 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 yeah. And thankfully, it looks so really he, good. So he, like, he, uh, like, he followed your story, your idea, your vision, yeah, really. the like, vision. And he, he was just able. just trusted the process. Yeah, he okay. really trusted the process. And yeah. he made it look really good. It looks really nice. It was done very well. So, yeah, 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 I was very nice happy. Nice song. With it. That's what's up. So, like, when did you? I did. I, did, I interrupted you. Uh, That's when good. did you uh, start putting out music? I started putting out music. I think I was like writing music, but I think the first song I ever put out was like in high school. I was like sixteen, mm-hmm. but it was. I was. It was kind of in that stage where it's like I was still in school and just like I put out that song because it was like a. It's like a. Taylor Swift moment. It was like, I was bitter about it. <laughs> and I was a teenager and so dramatic. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's how I started writing, was just because of like, you know, it's a cool way to, you know, uh, talk about girls. Yeah. You know, you know, my <laughs> idea of what girls were at that time. Yeah. Yeah, get these feelings out. Get these feelings Got out. Got these bars for these bitches. <laughs> these bars. I didn't, it sounds bad. It just sounds good. I was it sounds mean to good. say bitches. <laughs> It's, it's going on the beat. Yeah, it's come on, on bro. It's BB, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, like girls. What's a, uh, I got, uh, uh, um, uh, I got, uh, I got, uh, girls in love. I was going to say gnarly words because like it starts with a G, but that uh, there's no G in it. There's so. no G. There's no G. 
So what, what kind of music do you like listening to? Dang. I like all kinds of music. I think my Spotify is, like, everywhere. Because yeah. I, like, I like looking at um, some of the stuff my friends listen to, and it kind of is, like, this certain aesthetic. It's Usually it's, like, similar kind of vibes of whatever artists they're listening to. And then I look at mine, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm not showing this to nobody. <laughs> Why? So this... It's, like, everywhere. It's, like, um, it could be, like old songs or like even like some of the, like the tiktok songs or like pop songs and rap songs it could be like one minute it's like a a worship song the next minute it's megan stallion <laughs> okay i feel you, I feel you. He, can go, he can go he can go he can talk about yeah some booty buses <laughs> or we could be praising jesus <laughs> i'm like thank you lord and it's yeah. like money good thank you <laughs> Thank you, God, for this ass. Okay. For this ass. <laughs> body <yaddy. laughs> Um Oh, that's what I wanted to ask you, too, because I was listening to it. The Bratz Doll song. Is that oh you God. rapping that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck is this, is God? This? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. So you that was your first song or one of the first songs you put out? Yeah, that was, like, the, the second song. And it was a song that I made in, um, I went to a... What is it? A uh, music institute in LA. Um, that was kind of like my college experience, mm-hmm. which is really cool because they had like studios that if yeah. you were in the program, you could just go in, make an appointment, and work there. Yeah. So that was like my first song that I recorded there with like an, a microphone that I was like, wow, this quality is like yeah, yeah, 10 out of 10, yeah, can't yeah. be beat. And so, yeah, that was, like, the first time where I'm like, I'm going to try to rap. Yeah, what made you <laughs> do that? I mean, anyone can rap, right? Really, yeah. So. I don't know. I think it was, like, um, we had a project where we had to write some music. And I was like, hmm, I keep writing sad songs. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I've been, yeah. There, I've been there. And during that time, it was, like, I was usually, like, by myself because I was new to the area. And so I would watch Bratz movies because yeah. when I was younger I couldn't watch Bratz movies so I was like I'm a fucking adult I'm gonna watch some Bratz movies yeah, and so yeah, yeah. then I was like <laughs> I can watch this with an adult brain and see, <laughs> to see brain. how I feel about this <laughs> see how I feel with yeah, my... that doesn't always go well you know that you're like oh what I'm so stupid <laughs> I'm so stupid <laughs> Fun. I dedicated my life to this. <laughs> no, like, oh, hey, my time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so then it was like I had to work on the project, and I was like, hmm, fucking, I'm gonna write a song about Bratz dolls. Yeah, yeah, that's what's and up. That's how it. That's how it happened. Just, just having fun, doing having your thing, fun, something has... you related to. I mean, a lot of girls have. Uh, you know, especially now with the, that's the one thing I looked at, like when people had the Barbies or da da da. I actually, even as a guy, I was like, oh, that's cool. I, I feel like maybe, maybe this is just me thinking in hindsight, but I really feel like even like as a boy back when I was like 12 years old, seeing my sister play with brass dolls, I was like, that's so cool. They got a doll, a new type of doll, you yeah. know what I mean? With different type of clothes, different type of attitude, different type of colors. You Color? Know what I, oh my yeah, goodness. you know what I mean? Like that, like, you know, Barbie had black, white, and then maybe tan. And, and then, then maybe. <laughs> and then fucking uh, the brass dolls you had like you know this yeah, is this, oh yeah this is Port- this bitch is Puerto Rican <laughs> is she Puerto Rican yeah okay, she's I said bitch it. again Jesus this is terrible <laughs> <laughs> you're so demeaning to women <laughs> how dare you <laughs> I don't care that you have women on your show so anyway um, uh, here's a question um, maybe to help to see like what your preference is on like what's your music if you had a concert you're gonna throw mm-hmm. uh you know usually there's about three to five acts on there uh who would you have on it's fifty thousand people 50, so I mean, they could be dead or alive who would, <laughs> who would these people be dang that's a tough question um hmm if i think if i was on if i was on the same level as these people you are on the same level as these people in real life and in this uh hypothetical situation <laughs> in this, <laughs> so in both. You, I, I, I literally encourage people i'm like who like are you gonna be the opener you the closer like you know I mean? you, yeah you know what i'm saying yeah oh my gosh i would love to do a show with like doja cat just because okay. she's so animated mm-hmm. and so i love her weirdness okay it's so fun and I'm like, mm, who else would I have on? I want to be touching something. <laughs> and then maybe like 
her. Her, yeah. I've seen her live. She's so great. Yeah. So great. Such a beautiful town. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Nobody else? Her, Doja Cat. Dude, they don't have a song out together yet, huh? They don't. No. Maybe, um, I would love to do, like, if, like, open for Ariana. Mm. I would be like, they'd Ariana be like, who the just, fuck is this? Yeah. But I'd be so happy to just perform yeah, opening. Yeah. That'd be great. You got some heavy hitters. That's what's up. Woman empowerment. Woman they, empowerment. They ain't bitches. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you said, see, I used it differently. And yeah. <laughs> Those are very talented, beautiful women, and they set a true and great standard for women. Absolutely. Queens. Queens. <laughs> they are queens. <laughs> now people are like, you're sarcastic. <laughs> you're just saying that. <laughs> um, so... What are things like in the future that you are trying? You said voiceover work, mm -hmm. yeah. So what? So like, yeah, I can even tell in this conversation you can do <laughs> these little. <laughs> <laughs> little <laughs> What's a voice you got right now? Um, like things that I've been like practicing. Um, so right, let me get a sneak peek though. Yeah. So some of the things that I've been mainly working on, which is what I would start with, is like um, commercial works, so, like announcing stuff, mm -hmm. like. Um, a lot of the practice uh, scripts that we have is like, what is it? It's like Netflix. You da 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 da. Oh, like, <laughs> like, right yeah, yeah, They're yeah. like, you want to watch movies, so blah blah blah. Um, but also, um, what I would really love to do, like later on, and even like as I'm doing more of like the demo reel for commercial work, I've been just like on my own doing like auditions and side stuff for more character stuff because I love anime. I love like doing English dub, even if it's for, like, foreign movies and, like, cartoons and stuff. So I've been doing, um, on the side, a lot of, like, voiceover work for fan and games, for especially for FNAF. For some reason, I've been typecast. what? FNAF, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, I, I realize I've been typecasted for a lot of bird Roll. <laughs> For little, some reason. My little bird, Taliana. Little bird. Yeah, that's what's up. You like being a bird. <laughs> I was like, hmm, this is not what I thought I'd be doing, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taliana, we got a peacock for you this week. <laughs> we got a peacock. Next, you're going to be a pigeon. <laughs> mm, no one wants to be a pigeon. No though. one wants to be a pigeon. Mm. But yeah, like, I think that's definitely something like voiceover work is definitely something that um, I've discovered that I really like doing, especially yeah. this year. That's what's up. I would definitely, I mean, I want, I'm want. i trying to think of like some type of improv we could do right now. Some with the improv. Board. I have no idea of like of a scenario right now we could get into. Cause uh, I try to do voices in like my music and stuff, like that skits or whatever. I did it like, uh, I have a song or an album called Infinity Stones. And like, so Ooh. like I tried to be like, I created my own Thanos voice and it was just like, man, it's so, <laughs> now I'm so embarrassed to do it right now. <laughs> Not even hear it. <laughs> Listen to it on iTunes right now. <laughs> That's where you'll find it. No, what is that? Oh, I can't even remember it, bro. I'm just too embarrassed to do it. But I want to do a different one, an improv one, because I've never done that before. I've never Ooh. done it on the show. On the show. Because I do that a lot of times with my friends on the spot, like of just being in character, of, mm -hmm. like in a moment and dragging it on. And obviously, sometimes it could be funny, but obviously, it could also be like, they're like, Mike, shut the. It's annoying. Shut the <laughs> they're like, shut the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you like that in general? Like, you know, are you kind of like reserved and conservative or and like it takes a while? Like, or are you just out there? Like, you know what I mean? Like being someone who like, you know, I'm guessing because you've done like your acting, performing, you know what I mean? Like so I've seen some of these theater kids. They could be very, you know, you know yeah. hey, what's up? Like, yo, they are on 24 seven because they are method actor. OK. And, or like, you know, some of them, you know, a lot of artists, too, is just like the only time you'll see them out like that is when they're conveying that character or when, you know, I mean, or they're the, when they're expressing themselves and usually at home and just chilling. Yeah, and just like... Yeah, so what would you say? I think definitely I'm naturally more, like, introverted, but I've realized that I've had to, in order for me to progress in life, I've had to sort of build that courage to, like, speak up yeah, and be more outgoing. And a lot of the times it is kind of like a persona that I give myself that it soon I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm, Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce. <laughs> I'm like, let me just transform really quick. <laughs> <laughs> that, that ain't be 
Beyonce on that surfboard, okay? <laughs> that ain't Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sasha Fierce. <laughs> she not there right now. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of like, um, I, what is it? I, I was always told to like fake it to like make it. Yeah. Um, not just in like feeling like, oh, like I made it, but just like in general, like confidence. Like I feel confident. I'm yeah, supposed yeah, to be yeah, here. Yeah. Like that's probably why I like in the song, The Room, um, I use the phrase like uh, wherever you go is where you belong because I had go to therapy and he told me like you belong in every room you walk into. Mm, so I was going to ask you like what's yeah. up with this song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get your own inclination, but yeah. Yeah, so it's like just having that sort of like thought in my head sort of helps me be more confident. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's important because it's like it's not just about the music. They want to know about you or the you that you're going to put out. Yeah, yeah. I'm just an asshole. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> they said you're an asshole, but we I'm like this like, music. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are like that. <laughs> It's kind of weird. You're like, okay. I thought you liked me. No, I just like what you do, bro. <laughs> like, what you do is pretty cool, but I don't not want to be around you. <laughs> You're just like, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I can definitely relate to that because I feel like I'm very introverted, but no one would believe me. Yeah, you want it to be like where like no one would be like, no. No, no one really like when they see me in person and like how I talk and da da da. da yeah, so yeah, I, I I always think about that. Like, I always think about that with you, like, with other artists and stuff like that, because I'm just like, man, I don't know. It's so weird, because most times I meet an artist, they're usually reserved to themselves, and they have to get out. Me, I'm, I'm like, trying to bring it back. I'm trying to, yeah, 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 like, come on, come on, bro, like, bring it back, bro. We don't need to be Harmon Warhol right now, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's what, like, uh, my dad will say sometimes. Like, like, one time, me and my sister were in Vegas, and we are out or whatever, and uh, it was New Year's, so you know we're trying to get into some trouble and you know whatever, and just have fun. And my dad texts us like halfway through the night. He goes uh, to my sister, uh, "Is he Michael or Harmon Warhol tonight?" And then ever since he said that, it's like fucked it with my brain because I'm like, "Damn, bro, I do do that." <laughs> like when I go in, I'm like, "Hey, like, like, let's it. go, let's do this <laughs> shit." Yeah, I'm that guy who's like within 30 minutes, I'm like finding someone to dance with like, like don't on, even know let's, let's go hey let's go we're gonna die tomorrow we're gonna die tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it uh, so uh so i was talking about how it started off with like uh your love life not love life directly my bad i was setting up to that but uh so you started writing because you know like a taylor swift moment and everything like that so yeah. talk about like you know talk about that a little bit of just like maybe a progression in life now to like why your music's a certain way now like because maybe because of your love life you know what i mean maybe it's going good so you don't have nothing to complain just, about <laughs> yeah. now you're talking about rooms and shit like, I'm I'm talking about rooms. <laughs> like oh gosh she ran out of ideas yeah. my walls. <laughs> doorknob doorknob <laughs> yeah like um i guess it's mm, i think it's like that song was the first song I put out on like platforms. Mm -hmm. I think the first I used to use Smeal Sing a oh, lot when it first came out. That's old school. Yeah, that's yeah. Old school. Yeah. Um, and I like wrote a song, and this was when you could tell it was when I was homeschooled because um, it was like very like I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, definitely my music when especially when I was younger had a lot to do with either what I was currently feeling or. Um, it's like, oh, there's something behind. There's like some tea behind this. Mm -hmm. um, so my music now is like, um, I'm trying to sort of venture out into exploring either emotions that I've had in the past and want to address or things in the perspective of like other people, whether they're like going through something or whether they're perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. um, just putting myself in their shoes in order to um, become like, I don't know, a better writer and being able to relate to more people. Yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah. I have the I have that problem. Not really problem, because I went straight up all the time just putting myself out there and after a while you're like, especially if you gotta perform this shit, you're kinda like, man, I, I don't wanna put myself out there like <laughs> this. This that. is so draining to perform this <laughs> song. Like, you know, uh, yeah. but I definitely yeah, that being in someone else's shoes is definitely when I myself uh, I wanna work towards doing more like telling stories, you know, because yeah. I, mean? I was telling all these stories and personal stories or fake stories, then I went to straight bar for bar. Like I'm like, fuck this, let's do little Wayne this shit. Let's you know what I mean? Yeah, we're going meta heavy metaphors. And now it's kinda caught in between, but now like 
uh, just recently been the uh, I haven't told shit from other person's perspective. I've done my own. Per- I'm now I change like now I did the metaphor thing. So I, I'm like I really want to do like would like you have any tips for that or anything? Or, like how do you get yourself in that? You know, empathetic mood or whatever. I'm not even or like you know <laughs> just being like swamp. Yeah. I know you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or what would they think? Yeah, I think for me it's like um, I don't know. I've always been pretty like a pretty empathetic person doesn't mean like I'm always a nice person yeah, but yeah, yeah, it does yeah. mean like yeah, yeah. um if like I could sort of like see why someone would do something that's why I'd be a horrible like detective because I'd be like oh I'm so sorry what uh, happened to you uh, and that caused you to murder your family yeah, but yeah, yeah. I see your pain um yeah for me it's sort of just like um breaking it down just like even like if you're doing like acting you break it down it's like who is this person um getting to know them and being like okay what's your story um and if there's like a major point in their life like if you wanted to write a song about someone getting cheated on but you've never been cheated on sort of like doing your research of just like there's a lot of things on tiktok now you can do a lot of research on that and then (laughs) you can put yourself like okay now using that information yeah how would i feel how would i react how would i react if this were to happen to me yeah 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 damn yeah so artists puts us ourselves why do we that's like unnecessary punishment yeah unnecessary punishment (laughs) you almost cried about a fake relationship (laughs) how could you do this to me when you're crying in your room and you fake scenarios. You piece of shit! I'll bite off your dick! I hate you! <laughs> oh my gosh. Bars! Bars! Oh my gosh. Oh, like all the videos of everyone like, I'm crying to Olivia Rodrigo. My boyfriend oh. next to me just like, why are you crying about your ex for no reason? Oh, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> They're like, break my heart so I can listen to this album the uh, way it should be. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. But sometimes you want to feel that. It's like a good hurt sometimes it's when, you, good when hurt. you're able to, I mean, yeah, it sucks to feel hurt. But when you're able to relate or feel good from something, like, that shit almost feels way better than just never going through that anyway. It's like, yeah. I'm so glad I went through this just to be able to enjoy this moment of coming back up. Because I guess that's, you know, yeah. a lot of people enjoy It's like that. too much of anything is bad. Too much of just chill life you're just like what the hell you drink too much water you're gonna drown you're gonna drown that's what Dan- Denzel said that guy <laughs> I didn't come up with that I'm not that smart maybe I am Who knows? <laughs> maybe I haven't not. met Denzel yet to tell me yet <laughs> <laughs> one day we'll find out <laughs> um what's I'm trying to think of other questions that I usually this is the time when I usually I usually play a game too Ooh. I wouldn't want to do we can try to do that but we don't have alcohol usually <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hmm, I wonder if I'm... And I'm like, no, I have to sing today. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, that's why I would drink. <laughs> I'd be like, what? When I'm rapping, do you drink before you perform? Usually, like... I usually like doing that stuff, like, after. after. I don't know why. I feel like... But singing's different than rapping. Yeah, right? singing's a little bit different. Because if it's, like, I drink, like, alcohol, and then my voice is all groggly, and I go, ha! Yeah, and I'm yeah. like... Yeah, yeah. Would you... Wait, what'd you do? Like, if I were no, no. to... Oh, see, I was trying to get you to do this. Oh, <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> the pterodactyl. Not the pterodactyl. <laughs> the pterodactyl. <laughs> What's your spirit animal? Uh, I think it's... I've always thought my spirit animal was like... A bird? No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I would... Uh, I've always loved, like, foxes or, like, lions. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Why, why a fox, though? I don't know. I've always thought that they're, like, very beautiful. I know they're, like, usually, like, thought of as, like, sneaky and, like, liars. They're, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, But I always thought them as, like, I love, like, like the idea that they're, like, observant and, like, quiet. But yeah. they also aren't afraid to, like, take action if they need to. Yeah, I would say they're more, like, stealthy. Yeah, you know they're stealthy. I mean? uh, and they're, like, you know, precisely, like, I've seen some, like, you know, because they're very small. They're actually pretty, foxes are for, yeah. sure, uh, they're for sure pretty small. But, like, the way they move, it's just, like, everything is, like, precise of how they're moving, what they're doing. You yeah. Know, if they're moving. So, yeah, foxes are cool. Um, mine's a Komodo dragon. Ooh. Do you know why? Why? I just think it's so crazy <laughs> <laughs> that they exist. Because they're, like, the, one of the biggest lizards. And people thought they had ven- venom. Uh, ven- 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 venom. Venom. <laughs> venom. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> ven- venomous. 
uh, they were they're not. It's just the bacteria in their mouth, and they yeah. only live in one location, which they rule because they're the mo- like the high, they're higher. I'm like that's crazy. Or a hippo, hippo would be great. Oh, very man. dangerous. They are very dangerous, yeah. which is surprising because they look so nice. They're not at all. But they're, they're they be all. they be killing more people than lions. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I heard dolphins are horrible. Yeah, I would just think they could beat you up. They could beat. Be, they're like a uh, peck at you. And yeah, shit. they're like. Gangsters yeah, of the yeah, scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who be fuck? Oh, killer whales be fucking up sharks and shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. We're at 30 minutes so far. Yeah. Boom. Uh, I was wondering. I'm like, this has to be coming up anytime. I'm like, <laughs> we went it. through. You're actually the one. I'm like, I felt like I got through a lot with you so far <laughs> already. Um, so I've already talked about when you were younger. We already talked about. Um, I'm trying to think. So we did the room. Oh, allergy meds. I never really got into that either. Like, explain that more in depth of why that got created. Yeah. So it was written at the time of when, like, yeah, probably allergies are really high. And I was like, ah, this sucks. Mm -hmm. Um, Basically, what the song is about is, like, um, I just use, like, allergy meds as, what is it, a metaphor? Yeah, yeah. um, For just, like, um, like, a partner. So when you care about, like, um, I refer to like my boyfriend who gives me like peace when I'm going through things um, that are kind of like allergies where they're like really annoying and it's like yeah. really sucks, um, but it relieves that pain. But it doesn't mean it's like I fully rely on him or fully rely on the meds. It's just he brings that peace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what's up. Yeah. Damn, that's what's up. You got to be thinking. That's a good concept and everything. I didn't even think about it like that so much. Yeah. I think, like, half the time when I write stuff, um, I don't fully, like, realize what the premise of it is until, like, either um, someone reviews and is like, oh, I see it's like this. And I'm like, yeah, Yeah. that's exactly what I'm saying. That's my favorite thing. That's my favorite thing. Sometimes I write, oh, man. I'd be like, damn, I'm... <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, my God. Yeah. Isn't that funny? It's so funny. <laughs> uh, is it weird, like, being... Are you, like, naturally perceived, like, as an artist or a performer? Like, usually the people you meet are either in your circles and stuff. Yeah. Like, instead of, like, a person or, like... You know, you meet some people, like, oh, he's a cop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know like, I, mean? I can tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, with you, like, how do you... Is, or that's just something natural because you've always been like that or look like that. Yeah, like... Or perceived. You always put yourself out there like that, I guess. Yeah. I think, like, when I was younger, it probably... Like, I would not shop for... I usually wore, like, hand-me-downs and stuff like that. And then throughout high school, I would just, like, figure out how to, like, recycle clothes to make it look like it's, like, new and nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I think, like, a lot of my friends and, like, people that I know, they usually say, like, oh, you look like, like, I can't see you doing anything else Uh, other than, like, being a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so funny because I used to play uh, baseball myself. So, but I had gauges and, you know, I dressed similar. Uh, And so, like, people always thought, like, I was an artist. And I'm like, nah, bro, I'll be playing baseball. But, I mean, I I ended up going down that road and shit. But I'm just saying it would be funny because, like, or, like, if I'm not dressed like this, then people just think I'm, like, a... a a fucking uh, uh, a gym rat or like you know what I mean <laughs> yeah like, they're like oh you're a gym rat that's why I be wearing like big ass shirts and shit I don't want nobody <laughs> see, nobody no, yeah see my you won't fucking don't judge me don't judge don't me. judge me in my <laughs> testicles in my testicles <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite uh, anime oh my goodness that is a hard question um I think right now my favorite anime is Seven Deadly Sins I don't like the recent season cause it turned into like something i was like oh i don't know if i i'm okay with that but it is like one of my favorites right now i don't even know i think i've heard of it but i don't know i never watched it yeah it's like basically about um it's like i guess this is like the medieval times but it's like japanese style of like medieval and um you have like the holy knights um, which are just like the Knights of the Kingdom, and then Seven Deadly Sins, which were just like seven people who had. There's like one of them's a giant, one of them's a fairy, one of yeah, them's okay. something else, one yeah, of them's an seven. immortal guy, um, and they were kind of just like this special team of people that would help take care of the kingdom. And then they were falsely accused of 
killing one of the generals. And then that's just kind of okay. how, like, it starts. Starts, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. I might check it out. Yeah, I only check, obviously, you see some of my stuff. I'm only, like, <laughs> on specific ones. Some other people, are, like, watch every one or any popular one. I literally watch, like, five. <laughs> uh, I'm not like I'm I'm in it, but that's like it's so hard to get me into it because I know I like dog, it's gonna take life. Like this is gonna yeah, take, this like, is gonna take some this time. take time. <laughs> Anime be going long as fuck. It be mm-hmm. going long. Yeah, that's why going. I had to stop watching Naruto because I was like. Uh, yeah, Naruto, yeah, Naruto's never, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You were not really like, I like it. I've watched it, but I didn't finish it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I've seen like, it. I don't, yeah, I'm just like, that's why I feel bad sometimes. I want to compliment somebody on their Naruto shit, but I'm like, oh, I don't want to get in this discussion. Yeah, right I don't want to talk they're about gonna, it. They're gonna, they're gonna test me right yeah, now. Yeah, they're gonna uh, test me. Oh my goodness, I feel that. I'm like. I know they're gonna test me because yeah. they're like, hmm, how do you know anime? Yeah, I don't, I'm like, what? I don't. They're like, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, get the fuck away from. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <"Pa>, pa, pa. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Uh, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Oh, that's so hard. Okay, here, instead of pick your favorite movie, what is a movie or actually an actor who's playing a character that would describe you? Like, mm. I use an example as, like, I want to be Brad Pitt in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But I'm most Ooh. most likely I'm, like, Brad Pitt at uh, Bird After Reading. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's, that, that, you know, I'm probably more like him. But, yeah, so, like, that's the example. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I think that I am... People always say, like, I think that, shoot... It would usually just depend. If I was in like a a live action, I think I am what the heck is her name? She's in um Lemonade Mouth, but she's also in like Aladdin. The new Aladdin? Yeah, the new Okay, one. so you'd be Princess <laughs> I, was just I would want to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think that I'm more like um Zendaya from Spider Man. Oh. <laughs> That's like, a good one. That's a good yeah, yeah. Got these dark circles. Dark circles. Dress her up though, real quick. You know what I'm saying, dog? I said if I were to get myself dressed up, it'd be yeah. over. What's that show on HBO? Uh, she has. Oh, um, Euphoria. Euphoria. You watch that? I'm not really. Oh, uh, she's I great. Don't have it. She's great. Uh, I want to see super, it so bad. She's super great at it. I am not going to give you my password. So anyway. <laughs> 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 Um, man, I'm trying to think. I usually have... Fuck it. We're playing the game, bro. Yes. We're playing the game. We'll do this. We'll ask a few questions after. I'm trying to think of what we're going to bet, though. What do we bet? What do we bet? Hmm. We don't have any alcohol here. Don't have any alcohol. We just have agua. Yeah. Oh, I do actually have wine here. Ooh. From last night. Last night. All right, so let's just see who's the first to two. We'll just do three cards. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't want to keep... I've done this where it's ended up being 20 minutes, so we can't do this. <laughs> it's terrible on editing. <laughs> You're just uh, like... Yeah. All right. Survival tip. If you find yourself stuck in a jungle without food, you could eat this to survive. A, your snot. B, your feces. C, your body hair. D, your scabs. Oh. If you find yourself stuck in a jungle without food, you could eat this to survive. A, your snot. B, your feces. C, body hair. D, scabs. That's a hard question. I don't think it would be feces because it's like your body already took everything. Yeah. With it. Just, it's so weird how dogs would do that shit. I know. I'm like, y'all yeah. <laughs> Um, I would think it's... Mm. Would it be uh, scabs? Damn, you got it. <laughs> Damn, what made you think scabs? I was thinking because it's like snot. It's just like your saliva, but just like more solid. So crystallized. Chris, <laughs> ew, not the crystallized saliva. Ugh. Um, and then like hair is like. Yeah, that shit's just. That I literally, shit you can poop out hair. You like you, your body don't, you don't, your body don't even get processed here. Yeah. All right, so yeah. you can you go ahead and ask me. Okay. If, if I get this wrong, you win. <gasps> oh, snap. Yeah, if I get this wrong, you win. Okay. 
I do not know yet of what I, I down a whole bottle of wine and stand in the sun all day. That's what <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> oh no! Do you like wine? Thing. Do you like alcohol? It depends. I usually I'm a very like fruity drink person, uh, okay. so I'm like cocktail we and like rose. <laughs> oh yeah, rose. But you're young too, though. Yeah. Still, you're still you know exploring the world. Three years down the road, you're gonna be drinking we'll be tequila like, and whiskey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I need Sweet. this. <laughs> I'm like pina colada right now. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So in t- 2010, a man was arrested for the highest blood alcohol level ever. His BAC was how many times over the legal limit? Damn, I know the answer already. We asked <gasps> no! this one. We already okay. asked this one. But you we'll could go... It. Yeah, pick again. Just okay. because I don't... I, I, I literally, right when you said I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. You said, I know. I have a feeling. Yeah. Let's, add, let's do another one. Another one. That's so crazy. That's the first time it's ever happened. A lot of firsts here, folks. A lot of firsts here. A UK woman has a rare disorder where her body violently rejects every single food except this one. Oh, shit. A, raw hamburgers. B, fruity pebbles. C, chicken nuggets. And D, Tic Tacs. It's a food that she can... Ex- it's the only food that her body will accept. Like, will accept? Yeah. Name them again. Raw hamburgers, fruity pebbles, chicken nuggets, or Tic Tacs. It's either going to... To me, it's either going to be Tic Tacs or raw hamburgers. Really? I, I'm probably totally wrong, but the thing is, to me, it's like when it's the chicken nuggets, I'm like... Like, bro, there's a bunch of other things similar to chicken nuggets. So it's yeah. like there couldn't be just... And the Fruity Pebbles, that's just a certain type of cereal. There's yeah. other cereals that are could be similar. I mean, so only Fruity Pebbles, she can't do Cocoa Crisp, nigga? Like, <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Rice shit. Krispies, nigga? Like, like, <laughs> it's like the same cereal. shit. So, it's the same thing. Yeah, where Tic Tacs, you're like, yo, okay, yeah. what the fuck's in a Tic Tac anyway? <laughs> I don't what know. It? Good smelling shit? Good I don't know. Good smelling shit and sugar. <laughs> and then uh, the first raw hamburger... Hamburger. Hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know. Uh, Tala. 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 Um, man, dude, I don't want to get it wrong. I <laughs> just said die. All right, let's go. Fuck. This bitch is good. <laughs> I'm saying bitch again. This British bitch, uh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's BBs. BBs. <laughs> the BBs. Uh, I'm just thinking of this like British girl walking around with like minty ass. They're like, wow, your breath is so fresh. Oh my gosh. You're so skinny for eating Tic Tac. <laughs> Not um, the Tic Tac diet. Damn. Oh. Raw hamburger. Not correct. Oh, what is it? Tic Tac? Tic Tac. Oh! 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 <laughs> I lost. And the thing is, what's funny? Didn't even bet anything. Didn't even bet anything. <laughs> we gotta figure it out. We gotta figure out what it is. We gotta figure out what it is. I have no idea. Did you see Steve O get shot in the ear by a poop cannon? He just did it like a week ago. Uh, he a t-shirt gun, one mm-hmm. of those. He fucking shot. He <laughs> blended his dog shit <laughs> in a bullet and then stuffed the, <laughs> the, the, the. And then like he goes, "This is <laughs> this is I'm Steve. This is the poop gun. <laughs> the thing is, his dumb ass. Sh- he didn't shoot it from like that corner to this corner. He <gasps> shot it like right." <laughs> Right here, right? And I guess in the video from what I've seen, he had to go to the hospital because it fucked up his ear. Ew! Oh my gosh, not the infection. Oh my god. Uh, you got crap in there and you got the bullet. What's the craziest thing you have you? <laughs> What's the craziest shit? Have you ever done like a stunt or like a dare or something like that where it was just like, oh shit, I can't believe I did that? Shoot. I don't even know because like I grew up in like a very like strict household so then like if anyone was yeah like, oh, you were homeschooled so- yeah <laughs> that was a homeschool like homeschooled to the point where when i went to school i didn't know what the hell i was doing <laughs> yeah, i mean you wouldn't you know yeah i think like i don't know because even like when people were like oh let's jump over the fence i'm like no yeah. he's watching me <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so i don't know what about you 
You're a good girl. Uh, I went out in high school just to be cool in front of like some of the baseball dudes or whatever. Uh, like I lost like a poker game or some shit, and then like I had to go streaking down the street. <laughs> And the thing is, uh, what I remember, it was so fucking funny. Uh, the cops came, mm. so I, so I had to jump over this fence. Oh my! God. I was like, oh shit! And then I just stayed there, and I was so scared because there was like a dog somewhere close or whatever. Because oh like God. few people did it or whatever, and I knew they were gonna fucking. They threw my clothes like across the lawn and shit. So I'm just <laughs> like, oh shit! And I had to stay there for like 15 minutes naked. <laughs> And then fucking came back. I got some props, but, like, yeah, just little shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, nothing too. But I was, like, a good kid, like, believe it or not, until, like, 16, 17. Like, I really, you know, just doing that streaking thing, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Anytime I try to, like, you know, like, cheat on a test or, like, lie, I'm, like, every time got caught because I'm terrible. Really? I'm terrible at it. Oh, my goodness. There's only one time where... Not, like, a one time. It was, like, one semester <laughs> where, like, yeah. you know, like, when you take, like, the tests and then they make them, like, you switch yeah, with your yeah, partner yeah, and they yeah, would yeah. correct it. I had a friend who we would, me and him, we would take our tests. And since, like, you would have the same partner until, like, they switch seats, we would give each other the tests. And since we wrote in pencil, you just change the change answers. It. Terrible girls. It was terrible. I was no, like, I'm not like testing this. Damn, that was the worst thing you ever did. <laughs> the worst thing? You haven't fucking smoked meth yet? No, I haven't no. smoked that before. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we won't have to go there. Your mom might watch this. So anyway. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so voiceover work, song, singing, uh, your vocal coach. Um, but what are other things that you just plan on doing and like, like, even events, are you planning to sing? You said you're singing today. <laughs> I'm singing today. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I'm singing today. I'm probably going to get more gigs soon. Usually, a lot of the gigs I'm getting is, like, pretty last, like, minute. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> scramble. But yeah. Um, I'm hoping to get, like, one or two down in L.A. Because I have some people who are, like... Why are they always in Sacramento? Can yeah. you have one in LA? And I'm like, I didn't know anyone wanted me to go yeah, down there. No, for real. <laughs> so I'm gonna try definitely as things are opening up. I'm trying to do more because um, the last performance I did before quarantine was like, what was it? Raw artist, but it was in the Ace of Spades, which was pretty cool. Oh, okay, um, yeah, Ace of Spades. It's pretty popular. A yeah, lot of actually, deep, more than decent acts go out there. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, like, super fun to just do that little, like, festival thing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, definitely trying to do more events. Um, definitely a lot of auditions. I am... There is something that um, I'm working on that I don't know if I could say it, but I'm pretty excited if it does go well. Yeah, don't say it. I don't want to... I mean, it's not like I'm Joe Rogan or anything. Yeah. <laughs> not like the whole world. Oh, what? They're like, what? 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 You fuck, she it? leaked the fucking the new Avengers movie. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> okay, so just like you know, just shows. And I mean, you. So, I mean, I'm sorry to say, it, you're so young. So just like you got all this potential to where you know to go anywhere. You know, to oh, do anything. You. you can fucking uh, not even as far as necessarily like, go up or down or whatever like that. But just like you know, you can choose this lane and be like, I don't want to do that. Like, you got so much time. Like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Um, it's interesting because it's like depending on who you're talking to in like whatever industry it is, they'll either tell me that I'm too old for something or I'm too young or like they're like, oh, you're young, you got time. But I've literally had like, especially when it comes to like acting stuff, that's why I like voice acting because yeah. it's like kind of age, you don't really age out of it if yeah. you take care of your voice. Yeah, yeah. But especially with like acting, um, it would be a lot of like, oh, you're getting really old. <laughs> and really? I'm like, what are you trying to Where's go? The you, you trying to be on Nickelodeon or some shit? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna do Disney. But yeah, it's like um, that's crazy. It's crazy. It just depends on like what you're reaching for. If you're reaching for like more like younger roles, then you're gonna be seen as too young. But if you're going for like the older yeah. roles, they're like, oh my gosh, you're so young. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting depending on the person. Yeah. What's a, uh, something like, is there any, like, kind of movie or part you would want to try to play? Or, like, something you're looking w looking out for or waiting for? I would have had to imagine. Yeah. I think, like, for me, if I were to do, like, live action acting, it would definitely, like, I could see myself doing, like, a 
what is it? Those um, cop like crime detective. That'd be uh, the only time I'm good at being a detective. Yeah, like Law and Order. Yeah, like Law and Order. S- like Law and Order. S- <laughs> or some shit. That, can, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's cool. That, I can see you doing that shit. I can see you standing next to Ice T. Yeah, I see. I'm like, oh, we're in this team. We're about like to... coming up to the crime scene and shit. <laughs> Ew, I'm like. <laughs> He shot the poop gun right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> right next to his ear. <laughs> his ear jumps in the corner. In the corner. Oh my gosh. But yeah, definitely like, I would love to do like animation. Like definitely some of the things that I've been talking about with the person um, I'm working with for just like voiceover training. Um, I do want to eventually like do like video games. Like I love like people play league i like how a lot of them in the beginning when league was just starting they're like i don't know the game i just yeah, do the boys yeah, yeah, yeah. and now it's like blown up into this big thing um but i would love to do like video games and like maybe even the video games where it kind of mixes the two where you wear like all those dots uh, and yeah, like you're yeah. acting but so then you really want to do this voiceover yeah. shit man. i need to get my voiceover game up bro the voice, if you can see we gotta do like, okay let's do close it. it out with an impromptu scene let's do it right now yes. and we'll end it so what are we so okay what are we doing right now what's okay. what's this imaginary scenario what is the or it could be a real scenario like it's hot as fuck and we're uh, two birds. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm trying to have you practice. <laughs> I'm just like ah. <laughs> two birds. We're two chilling. birds. We're outside. It's hot as fuck, right? Uh, and we may we found a, 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 a ice cream. Ice cream, <laughs> melting ice cream in a dumpster. In, in, a the, dumpster. in the behind Baskin Robbins. Or Cold Stones? Which one do you like? The I like Cold Stones. Okay, we're in back. Okay, we're two birds. What bird? You could be any bird you want. You could be a peacock and like, why the fuck's it? We don't matter. Like, let's figure. <laughs> hmm. I will be a uh, a harpy falcon. Ooh. Indigenous in, uh, I bezi- believe, Brazil. In Brazil. Yeah. So hmm. I'll try to have somewhat of a, a Brazilian accent. <laughs> a Brazilian accent. I got the, uh, uh, fucking think, I'm thinking about all these MMA fighters that are from Brazil. Right you now. said inspiration. It's, yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So what are you? What are you? I am. Hmm. What do peacocks? What would a peacock sound like? You can make a peacock can sound like anything. There's peacocks anything. everywhere. Yeah, they are everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. So you could do. Um. Uh, maybe I'll try to be a a parrot. A parrot. A parrot. Okay, a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a parrot and a harpy eagle uh, over here. Uh, I'll start it off. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> here we go. This is gonna be so terrible. This is gonna be so bad. Yeah, oh my god. Be, yeah, okay, I'm trying to. I should. I'm, I should just back out of this Brazilian accent. <laughs> <laughs> you said back out. No, before uh, it's too late. Uh, <laughs> it is so it is it is so hot out here. It is so hot out here. Why am I here? I'm here in this hot sun and stocked and I am I am a harpy eagle. I, should, I do not deserve to be here. Who are you? What are you doing? Get out of my space. <laughs> ah bitch, this is my dumb space. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if she did do that. <laughs> Why are you? Why are you? Qu- why are you quacking at me? <laughs> do you know who the fu- Do you know who I am? Do you know I have claws that can gouge your gouge through your skull? I know jujitsu. <laughs> I know jujitsu. What's your name? What is your name? My name. I should have picked a different accent. <laughs> My name. Oh, okay. There we go. Is. What's a good parent name? Patricia. Patricia Parrot. Patricia. 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 Well, Patricia, what are you doing in this ice cream? I'm trying to stay cool. I am about to eat my dessert. Which, which, which flavor? All the flavors are melted together. We got pistachio mixed with the jo- July 4th, uh, the sherbet with the uh, pralines and cream. This is disgusting, but it's keeping me so cool on my body. <laughs> on my body. Are you using 
using it as lotion. I'm using it to prevent me from staff. You're gonna get sick. I, I, because of my jujitsu. You're gonna get stuck to the dumpster. <laughs> I hope I get stuck into more. Uh, <laughs> I've been in more tougher, stickier situations, <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> my name is uh, my name is Anderson, by the way. Anderson. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh, what yeah, happens yeah. when more trash is, is dumped here? You know that there's a wing stop right next to them, and they <laughs> share the same dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I will practice my jujitsu on their limbs <laughs> and crack their bones. Okay. Why I stay cool in these Baskin Robbins and this I, I I don't care about being sticky. I'll I'll go into the water later. <laughs> Just gonna bathe in the trash. I, I think there's a fountain down the street. Then why don't you sit in the fountain? <laughs> <laughs> there's too many fucking birds there. <laughs> I need a busy I need my, I need I, 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 I need my own space. Yeah, exactly. So why are you here? Why are you not at the fountain, Patricia? Because I am not. Thirsty, I am hungry, and I want dessert. <laughs> you have quite the sweet beak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, see, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, these poor workers are like, what the fuck Part is a falcon and a parrot doing here? Yeah. This right. is Stockton. <laughs> and they zoom out and shit. You see this shit, bro? I'm not going out there. It's hot as fuck. It is hot. Oh, my gosh. And I have to go out there. Out yep. in the sun. Well, before you go out there, leave the people with something in that camera, this camera, those cameras. Yes. Um, should I say like my social? I'll put it up there, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> like follow me. Yeah, please follow. Watch her. She has a YouTube channel. She actually YouTube. does covers on songs. Also, she's got. Uh, I saw one that had like ninety thousand views on it. So. Oh yeah. 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 yeah go check that out. Um, I'm constantly working on new music and covers. And all that good stuff. And I'm, yeah, thank you so much for having me. This Thanks is for fun. coming. This was awesome. Yeah, we had yeah. a great time. Well, I had a great time. I'm not I trying to good. talk. You did? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry. I had a good time. Get me out of here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. When you leave, did she mean that? <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> my palms are sweaty. All right, so is that it? Is all you want to do? You're good? Um, I'm just saying, anything else? No, yeah. re no regrets. Um, let me see. Um, do I have any regrets? Oh yeah, um, stay tuned for more music. Um, um, check out AO Jazz. Um, he's a great producer. And yeah, I'm so excited for what this year is going to bring or what the rest of this year is going to bring. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Well, on that note, blah! 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 <laughs> I'm going to try to edit that. <laughs> Double! <laughs>